Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Sharky Plays Mad Father. Uh, yesterday, we had the finale of the main game, but now we have this. It is if. Uh, I'm going to assume that this is much like Maceo's uh, extended ending, where you get to see like all the behind the scenes stuff. And if it's not, uh, I feel like this may be a alternate telling of a certain point of the game or something like that, but we're going to just go in and see. So let's start. Mistress. Mistress. Mistress, please come too. Oh, this is a... Uh when she was in shock from the looks of it uh, after the father's death. Is she all right? She seems to have fainted from shock. Yes. OK, so this is where this diverts um, at this part. Originally, she did not faint. She was just kind of more in shock. But it seems like at this point of the game, she did faint. So this is probably going to play out differently now. Mistress. How's Aya? She's sleeping soundly. Just leave her be for a while. Right. Uh, will you be all right? Don't worry about me. I mean, I'm already dead. Yeah, so what's the worst that could happen? Super death? Dots. Are you truly a dead person? Huh? I'm sorry, you just seem different from the other corpses. Somehow. I still sense life in your eyes, so it's hard to think of you as dead. Well, it feels pretty unbelievable to me that I'm up and about right now, too. I'm sorry about before. I mistook you for an attacker, so I impulsively threw a knife. Don't worry about it. I probably would have done the same thing. I think this may actually just be a narrative, so. Thank you for saying so. Maria. Mistress? Let's stay together. Mistress. Is she awake? No. I think she was talking in her sleep. What are we going to do now? I wonder. Is this... Oh, I think I know what this is. This... Is this showing that... What if the previous ending was a dream? To Aya? Because the shock she continued on... And she was saying those things to Maria in that part of the ending too... But now it's showing that she's asleep and she's still saying those things. Not to mention you. We corpses are only being kept alive by the power of the curse. Once it's completely gone, I'm sure I'll vanish. I see. Even when you've helped us so far, I can't do anything for you. I'm truly sorry. Don't sweat it. It was always my fate. This was always my fate. And no one can defy fate. Hmm. Where would you be going? Feels weird sticking around in a girl's room. Can I borrow one of the other ones? I don't mind. Use any room that's available. Thanks. You have to live and protect Aya. That's your fate. That was Monica's wish too, which is why you were left here, I bet.
You need not worry. I've already decided that I must live to support the mistress. I'm playing as him now. The second floor has lots of private rooms. I'll try the first floor. Sure, let's... Let's explore the first floor. Can I... I'm ex am I just going to re-explore everything and see the corpses? Yep, that seems to be the case. The youngster, eh? You came here as a servant too, I'll bet. Same for me. But I wasn't like the others. I was taken in to be a servant, not as raw materials. That was back when the woman was alive. As I worked here, I came to learn the true nature of this family. I fled in terror as fast as I could. But I couldn't make it away. Though I was pretty clever about it too, but that woman saw right through me. She's scary as sharp she is. A woman who can read minds can brainwash people no problem. Yeah, she well and truly tricks you. Do you mean to imply Monica brainwashed that scientist? Oh, what? Whatever kind of person she is, her feelings about her daughter are real. She's a fine mother. Huh, well, what do I care? You can think what you like. I have Pancho running over to kill me, Sandra. Okay, so I can't. Okay, so it seems like I'm just going around. Oh. Am so I just going around and meeting? Oh, am I just explore? Just goes to the backyard. Huh. So I guess I just have to explore the house and talk to the ghosts. I think this goes down to the basement. I'll check the other rooms. And it's a very linear path, it seems. Ogre? What are you up to here? Ah, my my. How good to see you're safe. Has that knife wound healed up already? You appear to have recovered quite well. Thanks to that medicine of yours. Good, good. Who in the world are you? You're not from this mansion. And you don't seem dead to me. I'm just a passing salesman. That's... Can't go that way. Can I go over here now? What is happening? Okay. Is there something in here that I missed? Oh. Charm Encyclopedia. Boy birthing charm. Girls are cute, but sometimes you just want a healthy boy. For this, use the boy birthing charm. The charm is very simple. First, make your bed covers in old, in old blue color, then just pray every night before bed. This alone increases a chance of birthing a boy. Isn't that wonderful? Oh no, is Dio her brother? Is that what this is going to reveal? Can't go to that guy. Alright, so I got the charm. Okay, here's the same. 
I've witnessed some amusing sights indeed tonight. Love is a truly magnificent thing, isn't it? For love, people will become crazed, fighting and hurting each other. How foolish, and how pleasing. You're enjoying all of this? And if I said I was? The hell is your goal? I have no goal, so to speak. I just enjoy observing deranged humans. Wow, his character art change, and that explains a lot about everything that happened in Maseo. Nuts. You're not human, are you? Oh no, he is far from it. <laughs> but as of late, I've gotten a bit bored with mere observation. I decided to find some new amusement. Indeed, perhaps I, like he, would take part in a puppet show. Oh, shut up. Now, you know, I like virtuous humans like yourself after all, as well. It wouldn't be entertaining if this world were full of nothing but lunatics. It is the presence of good people that allows lunatics to shine. Such is why I didn't let you die. So if you would, please, stand against the madmen with your justice. When the time comes for it, I'll be watching closely. Ogre's playing a bigger game here, isn't he? I'm sorry, Snowball. You've always been at my side, but I kept thinking I'd be all alone. Will you forgive me? Oh, Snowball too is a dear member of the family. What's going on up here? Ah, good. You woke up. Yeah. I'm terribly sorry. The mistress seems a bit shy. We've decided to leave the mansion. Right. That sounds good. We're going to leave all of our past behind in this mansion. The mistress and I will start a new life now. Hmm. Is something the matter? You don't look pleased. Be careful of that red-eyed man in the black coat. What do you mean? Better not to ask that. He's dangerous to even get involved with. It may even endanger the mistress? Very probably. Very probable. I'll bear that in mind. Is the same where he burns down the mansion? Well, this is goodbye. Gives her a kiss on the forehead. Goodbye, Aya. May you be smiled upon. Now, go. Goodbye. And it looks like... Back to a lonely life again. My time here was my salvation. Even given what happened there. Still, she saved me. Those few days were irreplaceable. Her hands may have been cold, but her heart was so warm. Why did she save me, though? I wish I at least knew that.
Aren't you going with them? The doll. A doll? Guess the curse hasn't worn off completely. Hey, don't you want to go with Aya? Won't you be lonely? I can't be with the two of them. If they learned I was alive, I feel like they'd make me pay. What the fuck? They're trying to move forward, so I can't be dragging them down. So I'll be living on a different path from them. Oh, okay. Suit yourself, I guess. That I will. He's alive? Hey, do you believe in the string of fate? If you and Aya and Maria are bound by one of those, then you might meet somewhere again. As long as we live in the same world, I can't deny that could happen. If you meet again, what do you do if Aya has taken the same path as her father? What do you mean? What else would I mean? Oh, is this going to show us what happens after the patient? Don't they say that the apple doesn't far from doesn't fall far from the tree? That's impossible. She knows the subject's pain better than anyone. To think she would take the same path as him. I mean, I said if. Well, what'd you do? If that happened, then I would stop her. Could you stop her? I would try to, no doubt. Hmm. Well, good luck. Oh, I'm getting kind of sleepy. I'm going to bed. Good night. Good night. It appears the curse is worn off. End. They're hinting at a sequel. They're either hinting at a sequel or they're hinting at a third game in the series. The Maceo, Madfather, and whatever comes next, because that is the biggest build up to a sequel if I have ever seen one. And I wonder if that's why he re-released this game. I wonder if he's making a sequel to this. Because we just learned some fucking bombshells right there. That he's still alive. He's going to try and stop her if she becomes like her father. She is becoming like her father. Ogre has a bigger plan. God damn. This has been the if ending for Madfather, the Steam edition of the game. I am Sharky Hat Gamer. Please send, make a third game. Make a third game for me. I want to play the shit out of this after you built it up so much. But this is Sharky Hat Gamer, and I will see you guys next time.